Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU for the Third Rome playing as Moravia. This has been the slowest week ever. I fully acknowledge all of these things. But I think that we are making some significant strides in the world very soon. We will conquer the entirety of Britain, force them to be a vassal, and take over all their colonial nations, which, newsflash, is most of South America and the west coast of North America, which will be a pretty huge power grab for me, and I'm looking forward to doing that. So, let's continue sieging these people down and knock them out. Hello, Great Britain, you have some troops, aha. I knew you were hiding from me. All right. Well, soon enough, anyway. We'll be able to beat them all down. I just need to take a couple more forts, and I think we're more or less good to go. Uh, let's kill these peasants right quick. Okay, goodbye, English peasants. Now you guys go home. We'll transport you to go kill the new air separatists that fired in Arguin. Tlemceni separatists fired, okay. Crush them. Ottomans have the end of internal conflicts. Okay, they're no longer having that problem. Good for them. I support you, man. Not. Not at all. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Okay, go here. Can I please pull off of East Frisia? And tariffs are too high. I could reduce tariffs. Which is fine. I don't care about tariffs. Um, Castile. We need to improve relations with you for a good long while, I think. It is going to take a while, I'm afraid. Okay, France is taking even more land for their colonial nation. French Canada is getting a little strong for my tastes. I wonder if you could colonize this stuff. What's considered part of this colonial region? Geography. Okay. He's not going to expand into uh, colonial Canada. So basically, Castilian Louisiana is kind of worthless to me. And by a little, I mean a lot. Really worthless. Ah, well. I don't think I care that much. Okay, so Argentina's dead. If I can make my way down to Colombia, maybe that's the end of it. Where's your capital? Right here? All right. We're going to your capital, man. Split, go here, go here. Just start pushing to the south. Uh, you guys are done there. Go kill these Brits so they don't sneak up behind me. Because that would be a problem. We've lost the Siege of Gabon. Oh, right, I forgot about these guys. We have to kill them, too. Lovely. The problem with fighting these guys is there's nowhere nearby that I can land. You really have to land with all of your troops, or else it's not going to work. At least we have some transports ready to go. Don't need the trade ships, though. Okay, all of you come here. We'll have a much larger navy so we can actually land more than eight troops. And therefore beat these guys. This is the part of the game that I don't really like, is once you become an Imperial power and you have to do a bunch of naval invasions everywhere you go, it's really annoying. Not quite as fun. But it's fine. Okay, where'd my, um... Uh-oh. Wait. Where'd my Navy go? Navy? No! Come back here! I don't want you picking up the troops in Ireland. That's way too long of a drive. Stick over here, blockade this, let's kill Columbia, please. Thank you. By the way, how much more war score... Oh, the Ottomans are no longer a great power. How much more war score can I get out of this? Seven. That actually alone might be enough to beat the Brits. Perchance. Let's take you as a general. Let's just go kill these peasants real quick. Everything else looking more or less okay? I think so. So we did decide in the last video not to go for exploration or expansion ideas yet. We might do that for our last group, just for the heck of it, but realistically, I think the core uh, re cost reduction is going to be much better. All right, that finishes them off. We're now up to 83. France is no longer allied to Mexico. They had a spat. Good for me. Go here, 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 and here. And this should be the west coast, more or less done. Morocco declared war on Cabu, okay. So, are we done? Is that it? Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. We can do it now. We can take over the entirety of Britain and all of their colonial nations right now. 
I don't see any reason not to do this right now. We have 256 ducats. It's not a lot. This is considered minus one war score. It's like they can't possibly... They, they have to give it to me for free. For less than free. Please, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> That's funny, actually. All right, here we go. Great Britain is now a vassal of Moravia. And if I am not mistaken, British Columbia, English West Indies, Moravian Canada... Where are the rest of them? Shouldn't there be more than this? Oh, there's Alaska. Oh, Argentine. Okay, they just don't all have the British name. Well, there we go. Um, that solves that. Okay, I just gained a huge chunk of the world. Let's take a look at my diplomatic map mode. There it is. My teal has expanded to all over the world now. Hello, colonial nations. And several of them immediately went bankrupt. I'm so sorry. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's okay. It's no problem. All right. I'm going to give some of this land away because I don't feel a need to spend the power and core it. Friesland. You get to have Lothian and Edinburgh, which is a stupid freaking name. It was supposed to be Edinburgh or Edinburgh, not Edinburgh. All right, that's done. And Lubeck. Lubeck, Lubeck. Hello. You get to have Aberdeenshire. Fife. Or watch it be called Fifth or something. Iverness. Take that. And lastly, Zapadni Ostrovi. We're renaming everything in weird ways. But there we go. That's problems gone. Nothing for me to core. Britain is dead. Mine, 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 mine. Okay, I don't care about Hesse anymore. Uh, okay. So with that done, we finally reached a very um, temporary period of peace. Which is great. These ships are ready to go. I am going to kill the rebels. Like so. And what truces do I have left? Let's see. France in 1735. That's when the next big one is open. So I could kill Bukhara, Tiberistan, Ottomans, or Scandinavia right now. We haven't uh, messed with Scandinavia in a while, and they have no friends. So maybe now is a good time to just let my vassals go do something while I kind of regroup. I think I'm kind of okay with that idea. Britain's not a great power. Of course not. Ottomans are now a great power again. Fortuitous for you that I killed your rivals. They now serve me directly, which is hilarious. Scandinavia. Uh, guess what? Imperialism! And France and the USA do not like each other anymore. That's funny. All right, Great Britain. So I'm going to have to make you love me somehow. It still says that you have the colonies. Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. Is that really true? How does that work? They're a vassal of mine, but they still have three of their own colonial nations, but I got some of the other ones. Is that not a little bizarre? Seems a little bizarre to me. We're going to give you some subsidies, which will buy your love, but also allow you to continue funding your efforts. We will go to... Aha! This stuff's been recolored to be mine. Oh, interesting. Britain is still going to get some of this land. It'll probably be fine once I eventually annex them. Uh, Alaska, I'm going to give you some subsidies just a little bit so you can kind of continue working down, let's say, over here. Wow, long travel time for my poor envoys. British Columbia, I'm going to subsidize you as well. Four ducats should be enough to maintain some colonies. And English West Indies, I don't think there's anything left for you to colonize, so I don't feel the need to do that. I probably should stop calling them English, just because that's no longer what they are. So let's customize. I'm going to call you Moravian. We're going we're gonna to iconoclast this. All, all English stuff is being removed. There we go. Moravian West Indies. Alaska's fine, but I don't want British Columbia. Customize. It's going to look really weird on the timeline, I'm afraid. Ravian Columbia. We'll call them all Roman later, probably. Okay. Can I, um... Can I do anything as far as, like, forcing your culture? What's the culture of this? I actually don't know. 
There's a way to tell, and I can't remember how to tell what culture they're a part of, technically. Aside from looking at this, which is currently all English, so... Don't know how much that counts. But when we took over French Canada, one of the first things they did is convert everything to Czech. So I'm kind of curious if maybe these guys are going to do the same thing. They may, they may not. I'm not too sure. I wonder if there's, like, actually a cap to, like, how many... Oops. I wonder if there's a cap to how many, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? Vassals that I'm allowed to have. Where'd this navy go again? Gosh dang it, get back up here. It keeps trying to use the wrong fleet. Okay, we have 18. Split. You guys are going to go over here. I have to do this manually, apparently. I could have just been watching the pop-up and been like, oh, nope, that's the wrong fleet, but oh well. Engl uh, sorry, British Peru broke up their alliance with English Brazil, and now they become my guys again? Maybe once they're not allied and threatening independence, they become my vassals. Let's take a look. Name. Actually, we could probably just sort by Liberty Desire. Argentine. Papal State. No, some of them are still not mine. That is a little weird, right? Not just me. I'm not sure why Britain got to keep three of them, but they did. Not that it's going to matter much once I eventually annex them, but I'm not going to be able to annex these guys until we've gotten to a point where um, uh, I've already become the Holy Roman Empire, because they're going to have way too high of a liberty desire for that to work. Way too high. Hello, British Pretender Rebels. Okay. So they're dead. Uh, now... I think, once again, we dock you up, and we're going to have to go take care of the Particularists, yes? So I'm not going to go too far. We're going to land over here. Um, except he's coming up here right now. Maybe not. Hang on. Maybe we try landing these guys down here or something. I need to get reinforcements before they fight, because that's still a large enough army that could be a threat. So let's transport you. Okay, now, can I tell the uh, these guys to get transported down here by the first fleet? Yes, that's the one that I wanted. Okay, problem solved. New advisor, morale of navies. There's Anne Bonnie. She's cheap. I don't have a use for her, though. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these level 1 guys and reset at the end of the month. See if we can get something new. Lubeck Revolt. A Diplo rep guy will work just fine for me. Hungary is 74% of the way done. It's been a while, but we're making progress. Oh, right, we're killing Scandinavia. I completely forgot that we were at war. <laughs> Oops. Eh, it's fine. They can handle everything here. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not, I'm, this is going to be a completely hands-off war. Do whatever you guys feel like. I'm not worried about it. Hello, Argentina. You're another person I need to subsidize, aren't you? I'm going to give you four ducats a month. Okay. I'm going a long way to buy their love, aren't I? Hey, if it works, it works. Britain, I need to improve relations with you now. So you're very, 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 very angry at me. Minus 96 right now for forcing vassalization. Minus 200 for aggressive expansion. It's going to be a while before you're okay with all of this. But the good news is because you're a vassal, now I can get an extra 200 opinion for improving relations instead of 100. So we just need to take a little bit of time, but eventually I'll get you. You'll learn to love me, man. Everyone learns to love me. Just take a look at my CK2 series, okay? Eventually everyone will give up. It's fine. Military advisor. I'll take the discipline guy, why not? Discipline is pretty good. I got 18,000 ducats, and I should probably spend some of it. Don't see a lot to spend it on, unfortunately. Uh, trade. And yeah, we'll take some of that, I guess. Town Hall. I could actually save a pretty substantial bit of money if I do this. But the Town Hall costs a lot. Not as much as um, a Counting House, though, for example. So the Counting House costs about double. I get 0.27 ducats, or I could get 0.14. 
So for half the cost, I get a little bit better value. I could build a couple of those. I don't usually have to build these, but you never know. Okay, no. Eh. 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 None of those being really good. Okay, I think I just keep building um, regimental force camps or something like that. I need all the force limit in the world. Give it all to me, I ask you. Let me have a million men on the battlefield. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm saying right now or singing. All right. Scandinavia. Hands off war is currently at 33%. Man, this is easy. <laughs> easy mode for the game. Wait, did they land and die? They did come down here and they lost. They came down here and they lost to half their numbers. There's an irony there. Mexico doesn't like the fact that I have colonies, apparently. Mm. Level 4, Fort. I'm a four siege value guy. Absolutely. Marital bliss. Uh. Yes. Seems reasonable enough. Okay. How are the rebels? Pretty good. We have Moravian particularists, which are currently decaying down. Castilian separatists, not going to be a problem. Congolese separatists, not going to be a problem. A third of the world now works for me. Um, when Scandinavia is dead, who else do I kill? I guess I take Bukhara. Well, the thing is, now I have admin ideas that I need to be working on. I'm already pushing at eight right now. I'm focused on this. If only I will die and give way to my six admin heir. Then I'll start churning out a crap ton of admin power, and it's going to be very easy to conquer as much as I want. But yeah... I could decrease your tariffs, but it would cost me power. Does anyone have any debts that I could pay off? I got plenty of money. Wow, Castile. Britain's easy enough. Uh, I guess I could spend the money and just try to make them like me more. There we go. That actually reduces them down from 100. I could place a relative on the throne, which would be hilarious. Not sure I see a point, but I could. Pay off that debt. I want my colonial nations to expand aggressively. Pay off your debt. Looking pretty good otherwise. Okay. All right, moving on. Yemen declared war on the Ottomans. It's unfortunate for you, isn't it? Can I kill you? Why are you... You're fighting Alaska right now, and there's nothing I can do to fight you. I don't appreciate that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Imperialism you. And I'm going to save Alaska. Move forward here. Move forward here. Plague! It's fine. Okay. You thought you'd get me with this whole Holy War thing, but you were wrong. Some of you go here, some of you go here. It's only level 1 and level 2 forts, respectively. Castilian Separatists did fire. I thought they were down to 20%. Did they fire in Bremen? They might have, actually. Go here. Okay. So we're going to help Alaska win this war, and we'll hand off some land, I guess. So Castilian Separatists. Aha, they did fire here in Granada. Okay. Okay. Bit of unrest in some of my colonial areas, but otherwise we are looking pretty good. Great Britain is suffering quite a bit. Still pushing down on Scandinavia. I have not committed a single troop to this so far. Just to give you an idea. I mean, they're very, they're very unorganized, don't get me wrong. This is not exactly the most efficient way of winning this war, but hey. Technically works. General died. Great. Okay, still have 6,000 ducats. How much am I making per month? 130. That's plenty now, ain't it? So what should I do with a lot of Scandinavian land? Probably split them, to be honest. So that they are easy for me to conquer in the future. Um, I'm trying to think of who I would give some land to, though. I probably should just give it off to a bunch of vassals and stop caring so much who gets it. Because it's actually kind of irrelevant at this point who gets the land. One of the cool things about still being the Empire... 
Right, as we have a natural, like, redu uh, unrest reduction and stuff like that. And as long as they're Catholic, I mean, they're pretty much good to go. The other cool thing is it looks like Scandinavia doesn't even have a navy. All right. Haida. Hello. Uh, what region are you a part of, technically? California. I might give it to Alaska anyway, because I kind of want Alaska to get these. Can I do that? Moravian Alaska, I think it was. Or just, no, it was just Alaska. Why is Alaska not on the list? Interesting. Hmm. I don't seem to be allowed to give it to Alaska. Which is weird. Also, English, Brazil, and stuff are now listed under here, so I'm kind of curious. They're allies in wars, I guess, but... I could give it to Moravian... Yeah, I guess I have to give it to Moravian Columbia, but I'm not sure why I can't give it to Alaska. That's weird. Okay, I guess we give it to them. I'm disappointed by that, though, to be honest. I kind of wanted to help Alaska grow. Oh, well. Doop doop. Money. Nothing else matters, and you are out. Okay. Saved you, Alaska! Problem solved. What is your entire colonial region? It's really just this. Colonial Alaska is one of the smaller colonial regions. But it's actually not bad, because it usually can transfer you some um, gold or silver. Frequently. Every year. Every few months. Get a treasure ship. Which is not half bad. Not half bad, in my opinion. Who are you? You know what? While I'm here, I guess I could just go kill you, too. Might as well just kill all the natives, right? It's not a proper imperialism game if you can't kill all the natives. Don't you know? That's what everyone else is doing. It's popular. It's trendy. And I hate to be left out of the trend. Imperialism! Oh, that's what I get. Revolutionaries fired. Okay. More revolutionaries. I mean, it is the age of revolutions, so all of this is kind of to be expected, but even so. 65% war score currently against Scandinavia. If we can just finish off a couple more of these sieges, we'll be good to go. Integrating Hungary is done! And we finished killing these guys already. So Hungary's out. Done. Goodbye. Nice knowing yes. I'll go ahead and hand this off to who it belongs. Moravian Columbia. Skadoosh. We only have 66 ducats. You know, there was a time, right, when natives would hold on to, like, hundreds, if not thousands of ducats. Because they generate money all game, but they have nothing to do with it. All right, well, that's done. Good, so I've grown my colonial nation a tiny bit more. What I need to do, actually, is fight the uh, United States and <laughs> feed off all of Michigan. Start working my way down Louisiana again. Cheyenne. Like Cheyenne Mountain from Stargate? Mm, the United States is allied to Colombia, Mexico, and Portuguese Colombia. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I never did get some of those other colonial nations. That is really, really weird. Okay. Well, I think you guys are more or less ready to go home unless I want to declare war on Mexico. Gosh dang, United States. They're gonna they're gonna create a problem at some point. You know they are. United States is gonna get too aggressive, and I'm gonna have to march over there and kill them. And I'm gonna feel bad because I'm an American. Americans are supposed to stick together and all that stuff. Or something, I don't know. So what do I want to do with these troops? I don't think I have any rebellions that are a threat to me. I don't see any natives for me to kill. I don't see a point in killing Portuguese Colombia. Are they independent? They are independent. Still don't see a point. I guess I could go kill some of these little guys that are randomly over here. Yeah, we might as well fill in the borders a little bit, right? Alright, let's go ahead and transfer some troops down to British Peru. Drop them off. Hand this off where it belongs. Kill some of these little guys. I just don't like the border gore, okay? The border gore upsets me. This fort is taking forever. They built a level 8 fort in Chondalag. 
which is weird. Someone was pointing out, by the way, you need to make sure you get that super copper mine, which is where. Dalaskogan. There it is. Dalaskogan. I don't know how you say it. Either way, this is like the best copper mine in the game. It's ridiculous. Or at least it used to be. Hang on. 1.87 doesn't feel that good. Am I wrong? Huh. Maybe it's just because the siege down right now. It used to be that there was a copper mine, or was it an iron mine? I think it was copper, here in Sweden that was like one of the most valuable provinces in the entire game. It was weird, but it generated like four or five ducats a year kind of a thing. It was so much money. Hey, look! Treasure fleets from California. Nice. Okay, well... Wurttemberg Separatists have fired. We can take an idea that is the core creation cost. Let's go ahead and grab that. Bam. That's the big one. We got it pretty early on. So now, it's going to be a heck of a lot cheaper for me to core things up. Plus, we're looking at getting some more admin efficiency relatively soon. And more states. Yeah, what I really need is a lot of admin power. And I mean a lot of it. Lots of admin power would be nice. But there's no easy way for me to get that right now, unfortunately. So you guys are done here. Let's see if I can transfer you guys up here to Gotland. Because I want to siege this down and hand it off to somebody. Maybe Brandenburg, maybe someone else. Haven't really decided who's going to get all of Scandinavia, but I'm going to hand a lot of land off, I think. Brabantian peasants. I mean, it's Friday, so I guess I can run this video a tiny bit longer as I try to sort this out. There we go. Chronolog has fu finished. 94% war score. There's his navy hiding up here in the Barents Sea. And they're full occupied. Again, though, why is it not 100% war score? What do you have that I don't know about? Did you get a colony somewhere? I think it's just Gotland, actually, now that I think about it. That's the one thing we haven't sieged down. Never mind. Okay, it makes sense. We're fine. We are fine. We are fine. Actually, Scandinavia, if you wouldn't mind getting some expansion or exploration ideas, I would take you as a vassal and fund you through all of Siberia. No? Too much to ask for? Okay. It was worth a shot. French Canada doesn't like Moravian Canada. Oh, no. The Canadians don't like each other anymore. Autonomy's fine. Okay. Well, we actually have enough troops here that we're making some progress, but here comes some more just for good measure. And that's that. Okay. Who do I hand land off to? This is the new question. I'm going to give the Dutch some land, but some of it's going to go to the Livonian Order. The Livonian Order I'm going to push east. So let's give this to Holland, I think. I've got so many gosh dang vassals. How many do I have? A lot, basically. Oh, man. Um, purchase and ability. Could go for the anti-revolutionary zeal, which makes some things easier. Coring distance is actually kind of handy at some point. But this also makes sure that people aren't going to rebel against me. Let's go ahead and do that. Makes things a little easier. Alright, so Holland, I'll give some of Finland, basically. Um, I think I give Mecklenburg Stockholm. And to that extent, if I give them Gotland, they'll have an adjacency. So I'll do that. Mecklenburg, you get this. Because you didn't get much in the last war. I will give... I'll give this to Hesse. Hesse hasn't gotten much. Okay, so that's one, two, three, plus the ones that are already here. Realistically, how much land can I take? Let's actually plan this out a little bit before I go too crazy. So I'll hand this stuff off to the Livonian Order. This stuff off to Holland. I'm gonna want to I want to try and control the all of the coastline so that um, Scandinavia can't continue with the navy. If I try giving off Norway up here, that's also an option. Get rid of some of this. That's 68% war score right there. I'm not sure how much more I can give to the Livonian Order before they become overextended, but I could take some of the land for myself too. I think the Livonian Order is going to grow really big and fat. 
So we'll give this all off to Holland, I guess. I could just take all of, like, proper Sweden. Yeah? I mean, I could do this. 95%. Oh, gosh dang it. Do we just do this? <laughs> do we just do this? Just take over the entirety of actual Scandinavia and start pushing back into Russia? I mean, yeah, I think so. We need to, we need to hand off one more piece of land, though. Namely, in this general region. We'll give cola to somebody. Who should it go to? Who would like to have it? Um, any volunteers? Congratulations, Flanders. You're getting this land. No. Nope. Helra. Know why? Because I like saying Helra. Also because I like having some color contrast so it's more obvious who's got what. OBKB. That's 100% peace deal right there. Skidoosh. Goodbye, Scandinavia. Boom. All right, we're already over our time, so what I'm going to do in between videos is hand all this stuff off because it's going to be the next three minutes of me just handing things away. When we come back on Monday, you'll get to see what the final results look like. Scandinavia has been reduced down to a tiny little nation over here, which is going to be easy for me to eat. And we're actually working our way for far enough east with our colonial nations, sorry, our vassals, we actually could start feeding them bits of um, Russia and stuff now. I don't have to take all this myself. Next major target is probably the Ottomans. And I'll feed some land off to Baluchistan. Maybe then I'll take on Tiberistan, Bukhara. It's time to start pushing east, gosh dang it. That said, we're also only a year off from being able to kill France again. Gosh dang! I can barely keep up with the sheer number of people I need to kill. It's kind of funny, but all right. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.